lifts this one deep in the right field, and it is gone. Schwanke with the home run. Sabo takes his lead, very conservative, and there's a grounder to Boyer. Flip to second for one, and a 4-6-3 double play will erase the one-out single. As we take a look at our game recap for presentation of the Grand Hall inside the historic St. Louis Union Station, the lone run in this one, the home run from Schwanke in the second. The Grand Hall comes to life nightly with an award-winning 3D light show when making plans for your next trip to St. Louis. Visit grandhall-stl.com for details. The other story, strikeouts, a lot of them from Zach Lewis and Jake Whitmer. In fact, it combined 13 strikeouts for both starters tonight as we head to the seventh inning and Wichita has the 1-0 lead in game three of day one of our open college ballpark standard. And the pickoff, and it gets past Boyer into center field. Popak's going to head home, and we're tied at one. And that's where the speed comes into play. Without a hit, the Salukis get a run. Nenemeyer to the belt. Swing and a miss, struck him out. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Southern Wichita tied at one. And grounds it up the middle. Going home, Farmer's throw is too late, and the Shockers take the lead. Ritter rips one into left, and he'll pick up his 20th RBI of the season and get some insurance for the Shockers as they lead it now three to one. Strike three, struck him out. Wichita State comes away with the win and extras. Heck gets the strikeout and the save, and the Shockers move on on the winner's side.